Hello everyone, today we're going to be playing Black English. As much as I'd like to uh, select one of the other options, like uh, Japanese, I don't think I would play as efficiently in Japanese. Flashing lights, gore, blood, R18, viewer discretion advised, well, viewers, you heard it here from the game. Apparently, if you're not 18, um, they recommend... Go away. Oh, it closed. Did the game just have to close and I chose the, I guess. What does I do? Interesting. Hmm. Who are you? I don't know what keep your distance means. Who? Hmm. What? These options are confusing, but anyway, um, get away from me. Am I that scary? Yes. Get away from me. Go. Who? Hmm. Who are you? Um. Who are you? Who are you? Is that the only thing you can say? No? Who are you? I'm not gonna answer you. You're rude. Am I dead? You seem very alive to me. Grumbling noises. You have a nice smell. I really should go now. No, stay. Come. No. Come. What do you want from me? Shuffling noises. Eat. I'm not hungry. Eat. No. Eat. No. Why not? Insult him. Because I won't do the bidding of a stupid, creepy creature. Toss the meat to you anyway. Leave it there. Unintelligible. What did you say? Hmm. Okay, this sounds eerie, but the creature seems to be willing to talk to me to a certain degree. Maybe I should try to start a conversation. Be aggressive. What are you? Why did you bring me here? What do you want? That's not what I asked. Where are you from? Be evasive. Somewhere you wouldn't know. So it'll get dark and cold. Hmm. Aren't you cold? What? No, 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 no. I'm going to bear with it. Shivers. You're ugly. Also, out of the blue. Have you seen yourself? Oh, wait, neither have I. Oh, more scratching. Is he? Sharpening the screen. Gargling noises. Sleep. Nito. I can get away now. My creature is gone. Flee. Oh. I told you. To sleep. Ending four of nine, sweet dreams. Can I again? Oh no. I've been found. Hi. Hi. Who are you? I am no one. Where am I? Where is this place? Here? Where is here? 
You don't talk much, do you? Grumbling noises. Give me a nice smell. Really should go now. Stay. Come. Go with them. What do you want from me? Shuffling noises. Eat. Alright, let's save. Eat. Alrighty. I slide the meat away. It's warm blood feels gross sticky in my hands. Thank him. He's watching you expectantly. Cook up. Do you mind if I cook up? Starts a fire. Once cooked, I take a small tentative bite. It's not so bad, a bit chewy maybe, but the taste is passable. I start to eat. You notice the creature doesn't? You don't eat? Do you want to try it? Come on, here, take a piece, it's good. I suck the cooked meat on it. Needle. Gagging noise, vomiting. Are you alright? Creature. Let's run. Run away. I killed him. What? Hmm? But why? We're all much, much better. Ending 8 of 9. Vegan Nightmare. Alrighty, let's try a different option here. Um... Are you dead? Hey, everything okay? What happened? We're all better. What did you say? Okay, the silence eerie. Maybe we should try to start a conversation. Interesting. Let's be kind. It's a really nice place you have here. A bit dark, but uh, nice, I guess. Aren't you cold? Do you want to come near the fire? Shakes head. Are you afraid of the fire? Okay, I won't ask. Hmm. Interesting. Been living here for long. Where are you from? I don't remember. Something's wrong with my memory. Last thing I recall is waking up amidst the rubble. And you? Here? This is your home? How long have you been here? Long? It's gonna look at dark and cold. I warm my hands with the flames. You're ugly. Also out of the blue. Thanks, I guess. Scare your things out there. Interesting. Interesting. Sleep. Interesting. Sleep. Dark came really fast, no way I'm sleeping. Probably waiting. They lower my guard, kill me or eat me. Interesting. Let's see. Let's go find him. Hello? Where are you? The fire? What? I don't understand. I grab one of the logs and start to wave it around blindly. Show yourself. You coward, what do you want from me? Ain't no one is good. Very, very good. Alrighty. He's gone. What the? I need to find him. Those are still hot after blowing on them. Fire awakens again. Shaking a little. And then you enter the darkness. I feel tense. So dark. Hello? You won't scare me, you hear me? This ends now. I've been trying so hard to be kind to this fellow, and now I'm just being so aggressive. Passage. Needle. A lake. I said I won't die of thirst if I deep dive something else. I look around, the darkness is too thick. Seems there's nothing here. I turn around, ready to enter the passage again, when suddenly... Oh, 
I see him on the ground, sleeping, or pretending to. I barely hold back the urge to vomit. He is monstrous, ugliest, most hideous thing I've ever seen in my life. Carefully, ever so carefully, I take a spear. Not armed, I know what I must do. Die. I have to before he kills me. I move carefully towards his body. I'm afraid he might jump at me, but he sleeps so soundly that he doesn't notice. Die, die, die. I keep stabbing until I'm sure it's dead. It splatters me, staying my body aching limbs. Disgust, I head outside by the lake to clean all the way. Nito. What a night. After the event, I barely managed to sleep. I think I should head outside now. It's almost morning. Hmm. Let's see. Check for provisions. Um. Mm -hmm. Spear. Mm -hmm. Isn't much to scavenge. Make do what I have now, which is nothing. I'm starting to remember. When did I crash here? Where is here? More importantly, most importantly, where are the other survivors? That monster get to them first? You're probably that monster as well. At least, now you won't threaten anyone else ever again, right? No? Creature, come. Come into the light, friend. Ending unknown out of nine. Interesting. Oh, I was going through to see what was happening. Apparently, I was pretending to choke to death. Or something. I guess let's not kill this time. I look at him in the dark. He sleeps peacefully with a smile. Almost looks content. He looks like a child. I guess he stirs in sleep. Light from the torch wakes him. Immediately wake his eyes. Hiding the ground, fanatically searching for a spear. Don't even think about that. I have your weapon. I grip the spear tightly, my heart exploding my test chest. That'll give me a good reason not to kill you. He lunges at me, I brace for impact, but instead he runs past me into the tunnel. Back to the bonfire, ready to attack. I'm not scared if you understand. Come out. Look, I know you want to kill me. It doesn't have to be that way. We don't have to be enemies. If you promise you won't attack me again, I'm willing to forget about it. We can start over. We can help each other. I'd let the spear fall to the ground. Nito? What's your answer? Death? Your stomach's always growling. Even after I gave you food? That's because I'm very hungry, and that was a scarce meal. There's no more food left here. Really? No, it's... If I let you live, you'll kill me and eat me. What? I won't. I'm no cannibal land. I thought the same of you. Fakes the puke? I would never eat you. Sure, or maybe now someone will magically appear and tell me I'm wrong. Laugh sarcastically, no, it's impossible. There's no one else here and never been. Until... You? Anyway, I can just go and search your food outside, don't you think? Why should I stay here? Actually, if you feared that from the beginning, should I just let me go? You're not making much sense right now. Well, Leaps, you wanted to kill me, okay? You can't. And why is that? It's dangerous. I sigh. Why reason to let me go if you want me dead, don't you think? I wanted you dead, it's true. But I didn't attack you. What? Don't lie, I clearly saw you, and you just said there's no one else here. No one, yes. Only them. Them? Nods. Those things. What things? They become your nightmares, your fears. I don't know how they do it, but they do. They can meet again here if you're not careful. Wait, are you trying to tell me that there are creatures here who can enter your thoughts, materialize your fears? Nods. So it wasn't you who tried to kill me, and I'm just imagining it. Nods. Wherever there is white, they can show you scary things. Have you not noticed that? I scoff, incredulous. All of the situation seems too much absurd and discordant to me. Then why didn't you let me go outside and let them kill me if you were so afraid of me? I wanted to know you first. You only know me. What's the verdict? You seem nice. Hmm. You could have let me know instead of being a jerk to me. I wasn't. 
First, I mean to follow you, not answering questions, something I smell nice. Is that rude? You said like you wanted to cook me and eat me as dessert. You probably shouldn't give my ideas, but you do. I smell sweat and dirt. That's good. Well, compared to him, I as well smell like a flowery metal. But am I believing this? No way am I believing this. Anyway, I don't believe you. Do as you wish. Something rolls and stops short in front of you, leaving a black trail behind it. What's this? Some kind of black stone. They're afraid of this color. If you paint in your face and clothes affect, they'll leave you alone. And then I'm left here alone. Spear is still in front of me. Kill. I enter the darkness. Seen by the lake, crouched down, his feet dangling over the edge. His back to me, he doesn't even move when I come closer. Die. Quick and merciless stuff. I can't see his expression, the body tunnels over. Pulsing like lake, I'll never know what he felt. Surprise? Betrayal? I don't care. All he knows how ungracefully the body hits the water, disappearing in the depth shortly after. Turning the pristine waters in a expanding pool of red, I clean the spear and I'm out. Just for a brief second, a sense of something claws at the inside of my stomach, something like guilt. Then it's gone. He did say you wanted to kill me after all. I rub my skin with charcoal and grip, grab the spear more tightly. You kind of remember now, there was a crash. No one else survived except you. You're very far away from home. You hope someone will come rescue you someday eventually. Till then you'll be alone. You monster. Ending two of nine, cold-blooded. Neat. Alright, let's see what else we can get. Um, yes. Oh shoot, no. I don't believe you. Do as you wish. Wait, no. We're fleeing this timeline. Grab the spear. Head towards light. I'm not sure about this. Scary creature is afraid of color, but I use the charcoal anyway. Why can only be so careful, especially in my situation? Because I remember now. I was on a ship, we crashed, and no one else except me seemed to have survived, except that creature. Someone tells me he came here way before me, maybe on another ship, but anyway. I don't know on what planet I'm on, or if anyone will ever come and get me someday, eventually. But until then, I'll survive, and whatever those mysterious things may be, I'll face them. Alone. Every man for himself. Alrighty. Yes, I believe you. What about that smile you gave me while sharpening your spear? My spear wasn't sharpening anything. It seems genuinely confused. What was that sound? It was quite probably their claws. What's this? Some kind of wrapping. I pick it up. It's a strange black stone. They're afraid of this color. If you paint your face and clothes of it, that leave you alone. Don't you want to kill me? If the answer is too much, he leaves you before you can say something else. And leaves the spirit behind. I'm alone. Nito turns my skin black. As the paper folds into, I open up, find something unexpected, a drawing. Two figures holding hands, the creature and I. I look at the drawing in my hands at the charcoal and then outside. It's still dark, but soon the sun will rise. Does anything new happen if I kill them? <laughs> Toss the drawing to the floor. Let's go with Flee now. Nothing new. Stay. I separate the spear and go into the darkness. Hello? Seen by a lake. Cat? Turns his eyes, I see my hand takes it. My memory is slowly starting to come back. On a ship, no one else survived but me. The little guy confirmed it. Apparently, he saw everything. He was investigating the wreckage when he found me. Now I know he's, I was, I'm lucky he did. Tried asking him again where he comes from or if he's on the same ship. Can't answer me. Doesn't remember. He came here many years ago. Maybe he'd been born here and been living here alone. I still don't know what or who. Cause the crash or my temporary amnesia. I don't even know if someone will ever come to find me. Maybe, I hope. But until then, I don't want to live my days in fear inside a cave. And neither does he. Sure, it's creepy, creepy. So much creepy that sometimes I wonder why I chose to stay. He had those teeth, for instance. Cracked black skin. 
Took my hand. Child or parent. The guy I'm loving. That song was me. Are you sure? Aren't you scared? And why should I be? We'll face them. Together. True ending. Needle. Needle. Already named myself flame in this timeline, but seriously, what was that meat you gave me? He he he. Credit. Alrighty, let's do another ending. Let's find out what it is. What kind of meat is this? Meat. Good to know. Let's try staying. Safest choice. Nervous laughing. Oh. What? Huh. Strange. Oh. I'm not staying here any longer. Watch your steps. Needle. I'm going to follow. What? Hmm? Oh, same thing. So I absolutely have to start a fire. Good to know. Let's go ahead and follow. Enter the cave. The fire. Oh. A brood is bad, but smell is good. Mm. Are they eating me? And taste even better? Interesting. Very neato. Don't play with fire. Alright. Now what happens if I stay during a brood playthrough? Let's see. Went out. The fire. Oh, they see Kimmy. Needy. Alright, now we're back on a nice playthrough. We're gonna stay. Is this new? What happens if we eat it raw, I wonder? Eat it raw. Come on. There. Let's see. Nothing really changed there. I think I've had enough of this game. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.